The second row a bit trickier. This one's still okay. Just take out the factor of 2 here. You can see I've got 1 minus 2 sine squared theta over 2. And 1 minus sine squared, I've got here 1 minus 2 sine squared theta over 2. So A is theta over 2. Two of those are just theta. So I've just got 2 cos theta. That one's not too bad. This one takes quite a bit of thought. So I'm going to just use this formula here. I just want to do some rearranging. So if I write this formula, look, cos 2 theta, and I'm going to add 1 to that side, and that will equal 2 cos squared theta. If I square root both sides, I can say the square root of 1 plus cos 2 theta equals the square root of 2 cos squared theta. Notice this is exactly what we've got. And so what we've got is the square root of 2 and the square root of cos squared, which of course is just cos theta. And f, this took me a bit of thought here. I, I started going through some of these bits here, but actually it's this first rule here. Notice this is the same as sine theta cos theta all squared. Now you might be saying, well, I've got sine theta cos theta, but you've almost got it. Look, if I divide both sides by 2, that is the same as a half the sine of 2 theta, dividing by 2 there. And so we're squaring that. A half squared is a quarter. Sine squared, 2 theta. That's the answer they're looking for. Now in each of these, you're probably saying, well, I don't know, I didn't know they were aiming for that. Most questions in an exam, it will be prove that. So you'll be given this and asked to prove that it equals that. Didn't realise you'd be stopping on there. 